Hi teams, thanks again for everything you're doing in the Community Pharmacy Network at the minute. It really is appreciated for us. We're hearing that it's a bit quieter out there. It's moved from being hysterical through to chaotic and now we're hearing you're just really busy. We're also picking up that with less patients actually in the pharmacy, it's becoming a bit more manageable for you and I hope that to be bearing true. You must still be really tired, and for some I'd go as far as say exhausted. So I'll try not keep you too long tonight, so that you get a chance to get away and get rested. I hope the next point for you is some good news. Ireland are actually a week ahead of us in their lockdown, and they're reporting that the volume has returned to normal. So if we can mirror that, good news. It is a ray of sunshine, I hope, that we can all look, to, look towards. I do have many things to try and cover with you tonight, so I'll do them in a, a bullet style more to try and get through them and allow you that more time. In terms of, I could start with the finances and the advanced payments. We're still awaiting the decision and we've asked, I can assure you, for a significant payment for the end of April. We couldn't manage the end of March. That's running as normal, except for two boards that have been notified that they'll be making estimated payments. So our request in with SG and it's we're looking to get a decision by tomorrow night so hopefully Matt will be able to update you then. So that is so that the March payments, the wholesaler bills, can be picked up and paid by a much larger April payment. We know that you've got extra salary costs just now and hopefully we'll manage to get that in because CPS recognises that's an appropriate or a timing issue for you. I appreciate that. It does incorporate the VAT issue that some people have raised with us, but we've got that covered in our ask to the Scottish Government. We're also hearing that wholesaler credit caps, they are being lifted soon. Margin survey, we're still doing that to monitor the network income. So if CPS gets in touch with you, would you please participate with us and that's why we're doing it. Under operations, primary care hubs, each board's different and I encourage you to find out how that's operating. Some will send messages via the clinical mailbox so I know if you can at all please just consider how you'd be able to have a look at that once a day would be good. I appreciate that's really difficult at the minute. And these hubs themselves, they're evolving as the NHS is, as that's being re-engineered and we change the face of the NHS at the minute. In terms of your returns process or standard operating procedures there, can I just think, get you to think about how you handle returns or medicines coming back to you? We've had an incident where medicines have come back to the pharmacy from a patient who's tested positive. So it would really be essential to bin that straight away and then thoroughly go through the hand washing procedure. So, because we're hearing as well that the virus can live for longer than originally thought on cardboard and some plastics. In terms of shortages, Emma's reporting that CPS were getting more reports coming through. So if you're able to, can you please keep them coming in so that we can keep the tariff moving with the market? We've had comments about social distancing and it's, it's really difficult within the community pharmacy setting, if not impossible. So this is one that you can really best try and manage on your own as best you can when using regular hand washing as well. You can remember we should all be asymptomatic in the pharmacy as far and as far as we can stay apart and is reasonably practical within the pharmacy. And I do appreciate it's really difficult. Quotas. We've spoken to the Healthcare Distribution Association, the wholesalers, and Matt is going to pick up with ABPI, see if we get the quotas improved. PPE, today we heard that Alliance Healthcare should get the delivery from National Procurement on Friday, and then we'll roll out from there on Monday. So it's really a logistical thing now, and that's something that will get out to you, I hope, in a letter tomorrow. Not our specific letter, but we are helping distribute it on behalf of the Scottish Government. Testing. Pharmacy teams are included, as well as family members, I believe, so that we can get the self-isolating staff back to work. So I just need to manage the expectation a wee bit there. You'll get 
a test if we can, and if they're available, because there'll be limited numbers, because if everyone tries to get them, and we'll try and get you there as best we can. It's NHS board specific, and the CPS team, we're going to try and collate that on the website, because we think that's a game changer for our workforce. Paracetamol PGD, still sent me one of the boards, it's due to come back, we're awaiting the full thing coming out, so we're pushing hard, and I know Adam was on the case with that today. Workforce, there's the matching website you can look at. We've got pharmacy and the NES coordination team there. They're coordinating the pharmacists and the technicians coming back to the register. NHS board colleagues still are moving on getting the primary care staff out into the network. And we accept that that's frustrating for you. And we know that you need the support now. We're just pushing really, really hard. And we're not just quite in control of that for you. pre regs out there, the announcement today about postponing the exam. Look out for the full detail coming out for the GPHC, but I hope that gives you some relief. Support to you. We've confirmed that Tesco and Morrison are accepting the CPS letter for shopping as key workers, and we're awaiting updates from the others, and we'll let you know. We're working on a template letter to allow you to carry should Police Scotland ask where you're going or you get stopped. So keep checking the CPS website for that under the COVID section. A brief word about professional decision making. Many things that we are doing at the minute and having to make decisions about we never thought we would have to in a pharmacy career. And I believe there are more to come. So we're working with the GPHC to make it as easy as possible to implement. What's required is an ability to keep adapting as the situation evolves. And it may require accepting a higher level of risk to keep the supply chain going. And as I said before, these are going to be tough decisions for us. One other support to bring up for you, new Facebook Live, Ask Me Anything We Adam is scheduled for Monday, 8 o'clock. So we'll give you more detail about that. Some of the messaging on BBC, we've been doing the TV and radio. That's Matt's domain. He's certainly much better at it than me. He also did What TV today. The STV, Scottish Government announcement. This is one where I'd like to go like that they're still using the old one. We've spoken to S Scottish Government about that and the broadcaster. So it's really frustrating, especially when we got that changed to include community pharmacy. Today with the Radio 4th breakfast show and the shout out where they played We Are The Champions for you, because really that's exactly what you are at the minute, all champions. And we've done a lot of work with Radio Clyde about messaging for the public. Now I hope that gives you a flavour of some of the areas that we are working on on your behalf. So just to finish off for you tonight, the answer to Matt's question last night, it's a wonderful life. Maybe it doesn't feel like that actually for the network at the minute, but it will get better teams. So just to really thought I would give out and do a few shout outs as well tonight, just for some of the people we've been in touch with. So to Kay Gregg and the Lindsay and Gilmer teams, to Elaine Agleton and her team, Kyra Jones and all the pre regs out there, Carolyn Roberts, I did get your letter, I'll be in touch. Uh, Leanne at the Barton and also the Anglo Sally Arneson, who's now in our jammies watching this. And last but not least, Phil Harris and the team, especially the lady that describes me as the wee baldy man that does the pharmacy videos. Yeah, I'll take that. And it really is, just to finish, it's humbling to see the commitment and delivery of this fantastic community pharmacy network in Scotland. We can only keep thanking you and giving you as much support as we can. Keep going troops and all the best.